Hey devs, welcome to the seventh part of our Plasma game series. So in this part of the series, I'll be showing you guys how to add in our uh, moving platforms to your game. I'll show you how you guys how to add horizontally moving platforms and um, vertically moving platforms. So um, before we begin, to those of you who are just joining the series, I would advise to check out previous part of the of the series. Um, the links will be in the description below. So let's preview this. Um, Okay, so in the last part of the series, uh, we added in our player attack. As you can see, once we're in collision with the enemy, we get this plus five on our enemy fades out. There we go. Once again, I'm um, sorry about that. See, we get that plus five, which moves upwards, and um, our enemy fades out. There we go. So that's um, the point and our player attack. Um, okay, so if you want to know how to do that, um, you can check that out. That's the um, part six of the series play attack. Okay, so close this and um, let's begin. So first of all, we need to add in some directions, just like we have here. Our left and right, we need to add up and down. So add a new object. Let's add um, a sprite. So first of all, we'll start with the um, up. Okay, up and add an animation. Add. Okay, so we should have that here. Okay, so here we go. This is the rotate up. This would be our up. We don't need any behavior for this, so apply. And um, let's add a new object. Let's add um, a sprite. Add an animation. Um, sorry about that. Add an animation. Our object's name. Down. This would be our down. And add. Okay, so this is it. Down right here. Okay, so we have that. And apply. So let's put this into the scene. Um, since our player cannot um go back up i think we need a moving um a vertically moving platform right here so i'll place one here and place the other right here and on the x oh sorry on the y i'll position this here so now let's add in our bridge so add new objects let's add this as a sprite so right here sorry about that um okay so add this sorry about that um edit object there we go edit and let's add an animation let's add so since the abstract platformer um does not come with a platform or does not come with a bridge i'll be using the um bridge from the default platformer from the platform example in cheat vault 5 so here we go we have that right here so this is it bridge okay so let's add this and i'll rename this be bridge okay so um let's apply this and we have this let's pull our bridge into the scene and that would do right there so let's go to our um, events right here we won't be filling in our moving platform events in this um, scene rather we'll be creating an XNO event so we can link it to multiple scenes so XNO events add a new XNO event and I'll rename this there we go rename and moving platforms okay so that's not all let's open this and let's in our new scene events add a new let's add um, a new group there we go on and a new group right here and rename this moving uh, platforms sorry about that okay moving platforms add um, let's add a link right here add this and I'll rename this would be a um, link to our moving platforms X no events okay so that's all we need for this scene right here for this um event okay so let's close this we don't need it um any more so okay so let's go to our new scene right here and um okay so let's go to our group in our groups editor let's create a new group let's add a new group okay so into our new group right here um let's add some objects let's add our bridge object okay so apply this and let's rename this group Rename, rename this um, moving platforms. There we go, moving um, platforms. Sorry, uh, we need to give it an underscore. So edit, sorry. Rename and um, name this moving platforms. Okay, so we have this group now. If you want an object to move, um, you can just add it to this group. 
okay so in our moving platforms group let's um, begin first of all let's choose a scene in our moving platforms external event um let's select our scene new scene now we've linked this to the um new scene right here to our new scene events so first of all let's add um a new event okay so add a condition and in our condition let's select our moving platforms is in collision with the object let's start with our object up so once it's in collision with the object um up right here okay so once it's in collision with the object up let's um add an action first of all we need to stop all forces on our moving platform so let's select this and um in the action sorry about that okay so here we go stop the object so this will stop the object by deleting all of its forces so once that is true or once um, this is true let's add an action to move the object so move our objects moving platforms um to the angle sorry about that okay so here we go sorry force there we go so add a force to this object um on the x we're moving upwards so we don't need the x so for the x is set that's zero and on the y we're moving upwards so that would be minus and um sorry minus and um 150 would do permanence force okay so this should add um a force upwards okay add a new event now to make this go downwards um add a condition okay so moving platforms there we go is an um collision with the object down we go once it's in collision with the object down um add an action first of all let's stop all forces on it so moving platform and um force so about that stop the object this will stop the object by deleting all of its forces and then add a force to our moving platforms there we go add a force on the x zero and on the y 150 would do and permanence force so this is actually the speed okay so let's preview this preview okay so let's um go all the way to our object there we go so as you can see it's moving right here okay so it's moving but now you might be wondering why we can climb this object that's because we haven't given this a behavior and to be specific we haven't given this the platform behavior so close this on our new scene here we go select the object uh, bridge right here object bridge behaviors let's give this a behavior add a behavior to the objects bridge and um sorry not the top down behavior okay add a behavior this would be the platform so the platform the platform characters can run on so this comes with three types of the platform we have the jump through which our player can jump through and the ladder which acts as a ladder so we'll be using the platform for this apply that and preview this okay so we have this now Here we go so as you can see it's moving and we can now stand on it so next up let's hide this up up and down we don't need that showing um okay so right here um let's add a new event pull this to the top add a condition so at the beginning of the scene there we go at the beginning of the scene okay add an action to hide the object up and hide sorry hide okay so if we had a group we could just paste this in a group um if you don't want to keep on hiding objects so you can paste all the objects you want to give um a certain action to in a group just like we did for a moving platform so if we want to hide this we can create a group put our up and down in it and hide that group so it would hide all the objects in that group but for this i would be going with the um other way so add an action and select that's our up set our down and hide okay so that's a visibility and this would hide it okay so next up let's that's our vertical we're done with our vertical um moving platform now for our horizontally moving platform we can use our go right and go left i'll place one here and um paste one here go left right here paste this here okay that would do and for our bridge i'll put this in here okay so that's perfect just elaborate to this side okay so now let's go to our moving platform x now event 
right here let's add um a condition okay so moving platforms is in collision with the object with the um object um let's start with the object um left so once you're in collision with the object left um let's remove let's stop all the forces so moving platforms and then stop the object this will stop the object by deleting all its forces okay now add an action and our uh, moving platforms add um a force there we go add a force to it on the x-axis um now we're moving on the x-axis so set this to minus 150 when i'm moving on the y-axis so we set that to zero so permanent force okay so that will move to the left now for to move to the right um add a condition so here we go moving platforms um collision once this is in collision with the object um right here we go once it's in collision with the object right okay add an action and select your object moving platform stop stop the object this will stop the object then add a force moving platforms and add um a force to it here we go on the x-axis 150 would do and on the y-axis moving um zero so we go so permanence force and okay preview this okay so we have this this moving and now for horizontally okay so as you can see this is moving we have this moving horizontally and that moving vertically Okay, so there's something I see in most platform games, which is a trigger button. Once triggered, our object starts moving. Okay, so to achieve that, um, all we have to do, right here, let's add um, a new event, right here. Okay, so both this and add a condition. So once our player is sorry about that, we need to add in the object. So in our new scene, let's add in our um, object, uh, which would be a button. So let's add it as a sprite object name button. Okay, so add an animation, add. Okay, so we'll be using this button right here, the green, which is this has not been pressed. Okay, so add an animation and the press. So our animation one would be the um, pressed button. There we go. Okay, so apply this and let's pull this into the scene, I think. We we'll position this right here. Here we go. Now to align this at the bottom of the grid, we need to go to our um, the points. We need to edit the points. So edit points right here. So uncheck just, um, scene points for animations. Uncheck that. Okay, and on the Y, let's take it downwards all the way here okay so for animation one let's take the origin points to the bottom right there okay close and apply okay so now we have this at the bottom sure about that okay so now we have that placed there Okay, so let's go to our events, and right here, let's add um, a condition. So once our player is in collision, player is in collision with the object, our player is in collision with the object button. Okay, so let's set the animation of our object button. Animation. Change the animation, here we go. Change the animation of button, sign set to value 1, which is a pressed animation. Now, we would use this fact right here um to determine um when our object would stop moving so add a new event right here add a condition right here so once the button um the animation of our button current animation the go current animation of button sign equals to value one once it's equals to one now we need to pull this and make this sub conditions to this um event sub events to this event right here so let's pull this in there we go Let's make all these sub-events, and there we go. So this should work now. Let's preview this. Okay.
Okay, so as you can see, they are not moving. There we go. Now to make this move, all we have to do is activate this button, and there we go. It starts moving. So that's the trigger button, which you see. Um, that's how to create a trigger button, which we see in most um platformer games. So there we go. So that's it. That's how to create a moving platform. Um, in G Develop Five. See you guys in the next part of the series.